Yes, sir. The December road. Ah! What is it? It's a nest. It's an animal. It's a boy. It's right. It's a boy. You're close to me, my lord. It's a sweeps boy. It's a climbing boy. A falling boy, you mean? It's all right, boy. You come to me. Come to Inspector Creek, huh? Eh? Won't hurt you. <coughs> you drop that. He's here all right, Mr. Roberts. Oh, my God, what the hell are you doing? Begging your pardon, Miss Your Honours. You drop that bleeding poker, I'll kill you, so help me, I will. Yes, it hurts me first! Stop it! Stop it, I say! I'll fetch him back. You took that locket. You saw that? Yes, my lord. You hesitated, Inspector. Why? I... You nearly had him. And then you let him get away. I'm sorry, sir. What's to be done? I will leave you gentlemen to talk over these matters. After all, they are affairs of state. must be found. What if he was listening up there in the chimney? He couldn't have heard anything he would have understood, my lord. Perhaps not. But it's a risk, and a risk we dare not take. These are grave matters, Inspector. The locket must be recovered. The boy's face, did you see? Amazed. He must have thought it was his birthday. His birthday, eh? Well, you'll have to put a stop to that sort of thing, my man. Do your duty, Inspector. Hunt him down and... Put a stop to his birthdays, Mr. Inspector. Put a stop to his birthdays. Oh, my dear Mr. Hasty White, do you know that when I come to church on a Sunday, I feel so good and refreshed for about half an hour for a whole half hour dear lady you're indeed fortunate you wicked wicked man now tell me what do you think of the sermon rather like a pork chop um, palatable if taken with a pinch of salt <laughs> have you heard from our friend the inspector yes he came to me this morning Quite ungodly hour. It seems that the man Brodsky must have been warned. He did not go to the meeting place. He's lost him then. Uh, no, my lord. Our friend is not quite as careless as that. He did not, shall I say, put all his eyes in one head. One of his men saw Brodsky go aboard a barge. The inspector means to act tonight. And the boy, has he been dealt with? Well, not yet, my lord. But he must be man, God knows. How long have you been listening to I know that, my lord, and I can assure you the inspector is as anxious as we are to deal with the boy. Could you say that? It's in the fellow's nature. Think of it. He let the boy escape. He failed in his duty. Duty to a man like that is as dear as God or a wife. He will know no peace until he has done his duty by that boy. So it's tonight. Had I known that, I would have prayed for success. They say that God is always listening, my lord. No doubt he has already heard you. <laughs> <laughs> 